Hey guys, welcome to another one of my tutorials. So, in this tutorial, it's not going to be about Scratch. It's going to be about another website builder called Tongue Cable. So, yeah, it's, it's called as Tongue Cable. And you just need to search Tongue Cable. Oops, not that. Just search in Google Tongue Cable. Okay, then get this one x.tunkable.com. So, mine says I've already created an account, but if you want to, if you don't want to create an account, then for me, since I've already logged in with my account, but instead for you, it'll be coming. You must create it with an email, just sign, sign up with an email address. So, I've made many games, but in this tutorial about Thunk Cable, I'm going to make a game called the Chat App. So, it's going to be looking like this. And these these apps are only mobile friendly. So, yeah. You must download Thunk Cable Live on your mobile phone and you can test it out. Make sure you log in in your same account to test it out. But if you don't want to do that, you can just go to your laptop, click on live test and yes, test it out. The game we are going to make today is going to like be a chat game. So yeah, it's going to be like this. So you type a message, type a message, for example, hi, click on send message. It's going to be here coming hi. If you type a message called like how are you and click on send message it's going to be called as how are you so yes that's it that like it's going to be looking like this and this project created by tongue cable called the chat app is really simple so what you're going to do is create a new app call this the chat app chat app or anything you want chat I'm just gonna call it chat create a new project now it's gonna be coming like this so first of all you're gonna get a couple of things so get a button get a button here so what you, you just need to go here in the user interface just you can just drag and drop so Tunkable faces many issues so yeah there are many like technical issues in Tunkable which is quite common yeah and the internet in Tunkable is really really slow the best uh, uh, extremely good thing in Tunkable is you can publish it to App Store, Google Play and Web App which is really good you can create how many ever apps you want I mean like times to send you one but just for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna create one so I mean not one I'm just gonna create five so get another app is loading yes so now it's gonna be like five four three two one Make sure it's in order. Go to this navigator here and make sure the buttons are like this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So these buttons are the, one, are the ones going to be used for storing and saving the messages. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be like that. So for each button, you're going to go. Put the text blank. Go here, text, just put it as blank. Okay. Right now we are still designing the app. After some time we are gonna code it. Okay. So now everything's gonna be like this. Now what you need to do is get a text input. So the text input is similar to the like the ask block in scratch. 
So it's gonna be like you can type something there. And yes, of course, it's taking time. All right, it it came here, but I want it to be here. Sometimes if that doesn't, those drag and drop doesn't work out, then what you can do is, oh dear, I think it's gotten stuck. Oh no, please come, please come. Yeah, I'm just gonna reload it and it should come. Okay. I don't know why this is taking a long time, but generally it used to work. Oh, my computer is getting full charge. I'm just gonna. I'm getting battery saver. Save my battery. I don't know why it's taking a really long time. Okay, fine. Done. Okay, thank God it came. Alright, so now it's gonna come. If it does not work by dragging and dropping here, then the best way to put is go, go here. Get the text input drag and drop now it's going to be here but I, we want it to the bottom so this is going to be right here so now it's going to be like button 5 4 3 2 1 and at last that will be the text input so even the text input so now we're almost about to finish it but we need one more button okay okay and put this button in below all of them hmm. sometimes it doesn't work so you just need to try again So, and you're just gonna rename this button, which is button 6. Click on the rename button. And what I, I'm just gonna rename it as send message. Send message. Alright, done. So, and what you're gonna do is in the text, also just put send. Oops, I'm not typing. Sorry about that guys, just put, oops, not again, okay, send message, okay, so that's it, so now the order is going to be like button 5, button 4, button 3, button 2, button 1, and then the text input, and then the send message button, so that's it. And if this is optional, you can just you can just go to screen one. Oops. So screen one is the screen. You can add many screens, but for this tutorial, you just need one screen. So on screen one, you can just set the background color to anything you want: red, orange, anything. But I like I just like it being white. All right, so now we're gonna go to block. So now we're gonna start a code. And so what I'm, what I'm, what I want to say is the code is really, really simple. So we just need to get a win. So now you see these things coming here. Yes, that should be correct. Go to send message. Click on the send message button and just get when send message clicked. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is go to hmm, go to text input. And now what you need to do is just get hmm. Let me just think. Just, just give me a minute, guys. Hmm. All right, so you're gonna get this button from text input set text to, but instead of putting text input, just set this to button five and then set the text to go to button four 
just put from button 4 get text and I'm just saying that this programming software is really similar to scratch it's block based and these things are also really simple just as scratch okay so now you just need to duplicate this now put it here okay so now you're gonna put change it to button 4 put button 3 duplicate this change this to button 3 change this to button 2 okay so now you're just gonna duplicate this put it here change this to button 2 and this to button 1 and this is the last duplicate you're just gonna duplicate this put it here and just gonna put from text input set text to now as you remember the first we this is actually a separate block from here we just put it here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this off and just put it just like this so now when we when you go to live test it's, it's gonna take some time to load and then you just need to type a message like hello hello click on send message why is that not working we must have make, made some mistake hello nope it's not working all right which means so this means we made a mistake hmm what mistake all are correct button 5 button 4 button 3 button th button 2 button 2 button 1 There are totally 11 block. Oh, hmm, I think we got it. So, yeah, yeah, I think, I think I got the mistake. Before this, you need to duplicate this block. Take this block out. Put this block here and just put from button 1 get text from text input then just take this block put it here so totally there's supposed to be 13 blocks now let's live test it okay it's supposed to code so ha uh, hello click on send message and there you go if you take another message like hi it's gonna come here so so once you have typed enough messages till five then it's gonna stop yeah but you can type more messages and if you want and if you don't want this limit then all you have to do is just duplicate this for example just duplicate this and Okay, let me just give you an exa example. So, just duplicate this block. Make sure the text input should be set at the last in any limit. So, now, button, there should be button 6. So, this thing should be button 6. This thing should be button 5, button 4, button 3, button 2, button 1, and like that. It's going to be, so, the, so that's it. That's it for this tutorial guys. If you if you want like how to say if you if you have any doubts or if you want to create like a little more to make button six, then all you have to do is comment in the comments below and you will you will be getting the reply as fast as I can. So that's it for this tutorial guys. Bye!